Seven years ago, exactly six years and nine months ago, two kilometers from this venue, I was at a house of a Bharat Ratna, and he changed my perspective from the cause for jackfruit to the cause for diabetes. And and this is a great forum about celebrating Padma Awardees. And in my journey with jackfruit, I had three Padma Awardees who helped me to where it is now. Okay, where is it now? We have half a million people in India consuming jackfruit recipe five with eleven thousand positive reviews on Amazon now. It all started from one simple ask from Dr. Kalam. In 2014, when I told him about an incident of a patient who was taking insulin for five years, took a Kerala way of consuming raw jackfruit as a meal as a rice alternate, and took his normal dose of insulin, and collapsed because of hypoglycemia. And I was writing a book after my time at Microsoft about working from home, and Dr. Kalam got the first copy of that book. He read that towards the end. He saw that I'm doing something with jackfruit. Called me and I was here six years and nine months ago at Dr. Kalam's house, and I showed him what I found: the nutritional comparison between a cup of rice and a cup of raw jackfruit, and the way Kerala is consuming it as an alternate rice. He went through it for three minutes, and he said, "James, this is absolute science. A high-fiber meal always translates to low absorption of sugar. There is only one thing new here." It's possible to eat an unripe fruit as an alternate to rice. Most fruits, when they are not ripe, the acidity is so high that you can't even eat a cup. Whereas jackfruit, the acidity is low. You don't need any study, but you must remember one thing: changing eating habits is worse than changing religion. You must find a way to use the unripe jackfruit to reduce rice and wheat without changing eating habits. You are an engineer. You go figure that out. And then come to me. I will help you campaign this all over India. Convince every housewife to use raw jackfruit to reduce rice and wheat. India has a there's a diabetes express running in this country. We must import jackfruit if if required. And that ask, it took me 18 months to crack an atta from raw jackfruit. In fact, that is my first patent. I made an atta out of the raw jackfruit. That is a green jackfruit flower. Kacha katalka ata, but by the time I I invented that product, Dr. Kalam passed away, and then came another Padma Vibhushan, who came to help me, Dr. M S Valithan. He went through my work, and he said, James, the biggest blockbuster development here is you found a Kerala way of eating unripe jackfruit as a meal, good for diabetes. But even bigger blockbuster is you made a flower out of this, so it can go to any food. You must take it to the highest scientific body on earth, and prove that this is good for diabetes. Then only India and rest of the world will accept the science. And he told me to do: if you are aiming for Olympic gold medal, you must practice in an Olympic swimming pool. And the randomized controlled trial is the only way you can prove that this is good for diabetes. 2020. In fact, I first presented at the Indian Dietetics Association on the nutritional benefits of jackfruit versus. Um, Uh, rice then i presented at the diabetes india conference the scientific committee accepted my findings then at the rssda conference where i showed in the continuous glucose monitoring an intervention showed that there is a 24 34 units of average blood glucose level from week 1 to week 2 then the randomized controlled trial a double blind placebo controlled study was presented at the american diabetes association's conference in 2020 that is where we got the the ada journal diabetes we got the rct Published as a result, then it was sent for peer review at the Nature Journal Nutrition and Diabetes for 11 months. The peer review got completed, and it got presented at the American I mean, at the Nature Journal as a peer-reviewed publication. 
the seven years of work which I did with this, was it worth it? Within the next one year, we had demand skyrocketed for the product. And in fact, Dr. Andra mentioned about Amazon getting into healthcare. It was Amazon which helped us to reach five, half a million people in India. And we've been, forget about the, you know, the jackfruit going waste in my tree. For 10 months, I was running around Kerala to source as many jackfruit as possible, convert that to Atta, and then supply it through um, uh, Amazon to half a million people. Now we have 11,000 reviews on Amazon. That is the kind of impact we have made on people's lives. Okay. But then comes the next Patna Bhushan, Dr. Srinath Reddy. Professor Srinath Reddy called me for a meeting at PHF. That's the first time I'm seeing a Patna Award. In fact, two of them at his office. And he told me, James, diabetes is a small problem compared to fatty liver. Because I explained to him the how it was working, how the soluble fiber, which I got into the jackfruit atta to make it uh, behave like a fulka. When you add this to your atta and you make a fulka, it should fluff up. And I used soluble fiber in the raw jackfruit to get that binding. And that is what helped um, in the diabetes where how the soluble fiber binds. I mean, first in your, in your stomach, it becomes a gel and stays longer. The gastric emptying gets slower. So at low calorie, you get higher satiety. You feel full for longer. Then it enters your small intestine. It binds fat, cholesterol, and sugar from the bile. And then it takes to the large intestine where it ferments and becomes food for the gut microbiomes and rebuilds the gut lining. And it, it prevents constipation. So when I, when I walked him through how this works, he said, James, if it is removing liver, I mean fat from the pancreas, and I said before that it removes fat from the liver, is that India has a bigger problem in fatty liver than diabetes. You must focus on. Then I asked doctors who are prescribing a product to type 2 diabetes patients. And in fact, the last HEAL summit, we had one doctor, Dr. Vinod Abhichandani from Ahmedabad, who was been practicing diabetes for last you know, many decades. And once the Nature publication happened, he started giving it to his patients, one of them including his wife. And in three months, the HPMNC dropped from 7.9 to 7.6. But more importantly, grade 2 fatty liver dropped to grade 1 fatty liver. Triglycerides dropped. Okay, And then now, within six months, the HPMNC dropped from 7.9 to 5.87. And in fact, this morning, he sent me his wishes for this conference. He said, October, I'm waiting for the sonogram results. I want to see my wife's grade 1 fatty liver has also disappeared. So what I'm saying here is that with this humble journey from this jackfruit, but taking the scientific route because of the help I got from Dr. Kalam, Dr. Emma Swalithan, and Dr. Professor Srinath Reddy, I was able to prove scientifically why it is working, how it is working, and then communicate that to a large population in India. So through just simple diet, using our regular idli and roti without changing eating habits, you're able to control blood sugar. And this is all possible because a lot of Padma Awardees came forward to help me. Thank you.